There we go. Yay. Hello, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello. Have you been, uh, have uh, Frantishak, Frantishak mm. had decided to channel, so we are just going to wait now for him to start. Thank you. What's up with the sound? I can't hear anything. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we're waiting for uh, Honda. He's preparing to channel. So Got it. Just okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Are you having fun? We are always having yes. fun. Yes. Who is this? Yes. <laughs> Metatron. Hello. Fanda muted himself. Yeah. Unmute yourself. Mary, Mary looks like she's gonna channel also. Uh, no, I was um, yeah, what well, maybe, but um, I was gonna get the vibration first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me go get my crystals. Um, Tyler is asking for an invite, but I'm not sure how to invite him. Or maybe, maybe Sabrina has it already. Let's see. Okay, thank you, Sabrina. Sabrina, she did already. I got it. Awesome. Good, good. Thank you. Yay. Hi, Tyler. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Google Plus can be really confusing sometimes. I know. Uh, Fonda is Fonda started channeling and then he muted himself and um, I'm not sure. I'm sure he's coming back. <coughs> and Mary might as well. So we we're being quiet for him.
So full of expectation. There's nothing wrong about it. Who is speaking? Judgment, judgment, judgment. I think we should give uh, Fanta his time, yeah. You know, despair and guilt, it's the opposite of love. Is there anything you would like to impart onto us? You are getting the message. Why do you keep on muting yourself? let you think about it. So this is intentional, okay. Are you trying to say that we are expecting and uh, wanting to just have someone come through and tell us things instead of looking deep within us and trying to find the truth and answers within. Oh, wow, beautiful. Thank you. Yes, we, we, understand, we understand that, but I think uh, we are all gathered here to just uh, help each other and to expand each other in our thoughts and experiences and to share love and joy so that we can all grow together. Yes, and so you are doing now. Thank you. You're most welcome. Are there, are there any... I guess I'm trying to keep it on a lighter note. Uh, do you have any personal hobbies or things you do of certain high interest, or do you find high interests in everything in, in all creation? 
I play with everything I touch. I'm cat, you know. <laughs> so you like games? Yeah. I love games. Any certain games you enjoy in particular? I enjoy having games with words at the moment. The meanings. Meaning. And energies. So games involving meanings and energies. Yeah. Interesting. You are meaning for me. You are energy. Yes. And so are you. We are all. We are all the same. Yeah. <laughs> I am experience for the treat. Do you feel that Earth is moving towards a better understanding of meanings and energy as a whole? You are always moving in that direction. Yes, it's expansion that is natural for you. You explore more of yourself. Of course. We're always exploring more. It's just embracing it. Um, I have a question for you. Earlier, I want Oh, I'm 
know. It sounds like Lyrian. Yes, I am where I'm origin. My species. Is this era that was that that is coming through you? Yes. And you are the entity that I saw in my dream in the spaceship, correct? Yes. Is there any particular message that you have for me? Because it seems like you are coming or we are intersecting this path quite often. You are intersecting your own path quite often. That's right. Right. What is the what is what is uh, your purpose? We have an image for you. Sorry, what is it? It will be fun to see how it unfolds and words. See the energy coming from outside. From all directions towards you, towards your center, towards your nexus. It's light, it's sound, it's smell, it's touch. Yes, I am aware. Of this, you know, I mean, I am, I know what. It's I imagination, the score of you. I, I incorporate all that consciously. Yes. And I'm doing it more and more. Yes. But I was having this conversation with you yesterday and also briefly earlier, and then we came to this hangout. Uh, you were telling me about my immediate past life in 1968 in French Revolution, um, and you were saying that I was I was a Spanish living in France, I believe. Would you like to continue a little bit more on that, if you please? Yeah. It's all about um, going beyond your limitation. That you were set to believe, that you agreed to believe. And all limitations are out of the fear. I visualize that I have no fear. I know I have no fear, and I put no limitations or boundaries around me. Yes, thank you. Then you incorporate the energy of this past life quite well. Would you be, would you be willing to tell me the name so that I could do some research? You have the name. Okay. But you will not find it where you are looking for it. Okay. And is Research it a Research inside. Okay. Not outside. That is just perception. Imagination is the closest to you. Okay. And you had mentioned something about me lying or something about the A's when I was 16. Is that correct? Yes. And it is this lifetime that I'm living right now? It's lifetimes of all of you. You have judged yourself for that action. I am completely unaware of that situation. Could you please share some enlightenment on that? Because I have no idea what you're talking about on that. 
Yes, it might have not come out in words, just agreement. Agreement with who? With someone judging you older. Are you saying you never lie? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, at the age of 16, I thought you said I lied about my age or something like that? That is uh, quite good that you take it personally, but while I was talking about your past life. I am just confused. I Maybe I'm not understanding, but I'm just confused right now, like if we are talking about this life or the past life. It, he's, he's saying in your past life, you lied about in your French Spanish heritage life. Okay, all right, all right, got it. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm right. So when I was from, when I came from Spain to France. Oh, Frantisek disappeared. Hello? He'll probably come back. He got knocked out. Oh. Sorry, guys. I'm mean, like, you know, I was asking these questions, but I just wanted to see what you say. Uh, it's going so long. But uh, um, when he comes back, I mean, if he wants to continue, then I'll let him continue. Otherwise, whoever wants to take the mic, feel free, sir. Donna? Yes. With whom I was speaking? Who sh he's channeling who? Experience. Channeling Gera. Gera. Gera? Yeah, Gera or Zera. Uh -huh. That Lyrian being. Oh, so I was speaking some kind of Lyrian. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were. I mean, okay. I, I could clearly feel the cat energy in there, and you were, you two mm -hmm. were literally talking like cats. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Sabrina? Hmm. When did she disappear? I don't know. Um, okay, I yeah. So, That's where Sabrina, I was. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I think Sabrina's here. I mean, her sign is here. She just may I not be at the mic no. at the moment. Oh, she's the not here. Is not Hello? Here. Hello? Yes, yeah, Sabrina, yeah. What's hey. Wrong? No, we were wondering where you were. Oh, oh because he has a Yukolo sign, that's why. Oh, okay. Uh, the Earth sign. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That, that's her today, right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, Gordon, thanks for clarifying that. Uh, I was, like, kind of confused if I was talking about this life or the past life. So so, so I came most probably as a Spanish to f in, in France when I was 16 years old, and I must have made up some stories at the time. Yeah, it's interesting, the, the dynamic in which um, Gisa or, or, or what, what entity is being channeled through Franti? Yeah. Zera. You can say so experience. G -E or you can say, sorry, go ahead. You can say experience or you can say Gera. But it's the same entity. But he likes to call himself experience. Where is Friend? I don't know. I think he got knocked out or something. I think um, he is having some issues, connection issues, maybe. Yeah. Okay. He'll be back. But um, yes, it's. Um, I'm not sure if he's actually Laren. He may be another cat species. Oh, maybe. Like the Pleiadian cat species? I'm not sure if it's Pleiadian. No, if she was a Lyrian cat because I felt um, there are warming like a cat inside me. But I, And I don't understand. Is that the language? What is that? I guess so. <laughs> it was nice. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, literally that was like the two cats speaking. Yeah, it's two cats. 
because I heard and then she said Liran. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I did ask her because she told me that I have met her in the dream dream space, and she's the one that I recall. Like you know, um, like uh, you know, when I was in a spaceship, she told me that she she met me, but I thought I was like in some sort of airplane. But I guess they had disguised the ship as a some sort of airplane for me so to feel comfortable. Her. I did see her, yes, and it's interesting she that looks. she keeps on coming. Um, she had a brownish, like a very light brown hair all over her body, and she had a tail, and she was walking just like women, you know, like a like human, but she had a face of a of a cat, and she had breasts, and uh, like the front of her body, like where her abdomen and the chest was, it was much lighter hair. Um, than you know the ones that's covering her back and I remember like when I looked at her she was just looking at me and she passed by me I could feel her uh, what do you call her personality her sense of sassiness or whatnot you know it was very interesting so mm -hmm. she had uh, what color of her eyes did you notice ah uh, you know hold on let me see I mean she had like cat like eyes but much bigger yeah. Um, like golden I amber. The color. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh huh. It is like a like yellowish golden amber. You could call that. Uh huh. And usually wear, they don't they don't wear any clothes any. Let's yeah. say was she wearing Probably. any clothes? No, or she wasn't. She wasn't. Oh, oh she's Jaguarian. Okay. Prana, was there any sensual energy at all from that? Uh, hey. Very, hey, guys. Very comfortable. Hey, guys. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Jag Jaguar is around. He sent me a message. Oh, he wants to here. know if his presence is desired. Yes. Of course. Yes. Tell him it's a dumb well question. <laughs> <laughs> you, Sabrina, you know what to write. <laughs> Oh, but if he comes in, Francie can't okay. come back in. Uh, I well, guess there's nine people one here of right us, now. One of us will have to drop off. I want to ask him if... <laughs> but there's, there's only nine people because right now. Yes, but if Jaguar comes, yeah. well, Francie can't right, get right. in. Never mind. Yeah, of course. Excuse me. I really need to speak to that. Oh. So it's spelled Gera, G H E R A. No. No, G I R A. I thought it was G I R A. Oh, it is G I. Hmm. All right. Yeah. And so it just looks like exactly like a cat, but the same height and proportions of a human being, but as a human being and walking. We're out. talking about cats and jaguars. Like I feel my presence was. It's needed. Yes, we need him in. I no, felt told to be present here now. Oh yes, he needs to come Thank in you. definitely. Please ask the group if my presence is desired. <laughs> I said yes. Where yes, is he? Yes, yes. Where is he? Yeah, the Tell Jira yeah. was like about uh, 9 to 12 feet tall most probably because I couldn't remember if I was sitting on the seat or if I was standing up. If I was standing up, I would say she would be like about 9 feet. And if I was, I mean, if I was standing up, she would be about 12 foot. If I was sitting at the time, then she would but be like it, about 9 foot. Is that the one that you talked to when I channeled for you? No, Gira, that's Arcturian. No. That's our no, 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 no. There was a Liren. Oh, yeah. It was. I think. Well, yeah, was I think so. Yeah. yeah. I think it was. It was that, or it was her boss, or someone. Jaguar. Hello, Jaguar. Jaguar. Welcome. Jaguar. Hey, Jaguar. Hey, Jack. Say Hello. something, Jaguar. Oh. He needed himself. Good evening. 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 
How are you? Very well, thank you, and all of you. Good. Is that you? Very good. We are thank joyous you. for you to honor us with your presence. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Jaguar. Yes. You said you felt the need to come into this meeting. Guess like what we were talking about. about. Yes, there was a magnetic pull. We're talking about cats. Is a Hakatini trying to come today? Or coming today? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm here. Good evening. Greetings to all. I Greetings. Uh -huh. Greetings. Yeah. Hello, darling. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hello. Namaste. Aha Kitini, is there any specific reason or anything that you had to say to the group? Is that why you felt pulled in? Yes, but before we proceed, I'm aware there are logistical issues regarding the number of people that are attending and the possibility of someone being excluded. I do not wish that to happen. Has that matter been sorted? Not yet. I mean, not is it yet. So where will could, be your if, we, if we can ask so if somebody could volunteer to drop out, I would appreciate it. So, Frank wish to come back in. Yes, or at I, least may I suggest at least someone be in contact through a written chat with Frantishek. So if he okay. desires to come in, that. He is. Okay, I will do that. I will do that. Thank you, Sue. Now back to Prana's uh, remark. Yes, I have a message for this group. This evening. one moment. I am aware there are many questions or much desire or excitement regarding the Lyran energies or Lyran aspects of yourselves. And I am here this evening briefly to help you, if you so desire, to connect with that. This is my perception. Does anybody resonate especially with this? Me. Yeah, yes. I do also yes. because I've been seeing uh, the cats in my dreams lately. Black jaguar, black, you know, the panther, and also like I have seen Gira that uh, Frantisek was channeling. And I think she's, I have seen her in the dream and she's come and spoken to me through Frantisek a couple times and also like through uh, Sabrina. Yes. I'm under the impression that also Sarah responded. Is this understanding correct? Yes, correct. Very well. Is there someone else resonating? Yes, that's me. Zinaida. Quite yes. Patient. Yes. You've been working on that aspect of yourself and I wish to con congratulate you on that. You have made strides towards being more balanced and integrated. Congratulations. So, there are three of you at least, correct? And me. Yes. Uh, yes. Also, and Sabrina. Yes. Uh, also, Ahatukini, hi, it's Sephira. Mm. Nice to see you. Uh, yes, I'm also concerned about this. I was getting uh, Lyran DNA, and it was up to a certain level. And then I was just recently told it was stopped because I have too much stress, which I didn't quite understand because I thought the Lyran DNA would help balance me out with stress. So, But I, I kind of felt it. I kind of felt the difference between when I was getting it and when I wasn't, although I didn't know at the time. 
what that was that I, that it had been stopped. So I'm interested in that part of myself as it's developing and what parts of it are developing in me and things like that. Yes. Before addressing any individual aspects, I must say that my presence is restricted in terms of time. So for highest e efficiency and effectiveness, I would ask someone to take upon themselves the role of facilitator and for each individual to prepare him or herself by reflecting and if you feel so inclined, this would be m my suggestion to actually write down the questions you're having so you may observe them in a more objective way and we may be as efficient as possible. Is this accept acceptable to all of you? Yes. Very acceptable. Yes. 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 Having yes. said that, I have a question now. Since I already asked you a question, I mean, I, I do not need to question you again, correct? But you already know my question. You may do so. I appreciate your availability to save time, let's say. I would suggest we form a queue for uh, questions, and you may, if you feel so inclined, be at the bottom of that list. And if there is time, I may address it. Uh, does that seem fair to you? Very well. I'm, that's totally fine with me. Very well. And before uh, stepping into these individual practices and logistical matters, I would should suggest all we would have a practice we already had in a council that would be in training our thought patterns with each, each other with a brief meditation, you could call it. So I would invite you all to close your eyes, breathe deeply into your center, into the center of your body, and focus on your breath for a few moments. I would invite you to set your intention for this communication individually inside yourself. And now set a collective intention for higher understanding of each other, higher mutual understanding and efficient communication. We may begin. We should now step into logistical matters and please Organize yourselves and cue your question. The easiest way would be like to go go from Gordon from left to right of the screen, and I will ask the question last. So, Gordon, you have a question? Uh, yeah. Don't start with me though. Actually, can we can we start over here on the right side? Sure. sure. Hi, uh, Aha Kitini. Yes. This is Tyler. Good evening. Tyler, great hands. Very well, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Um, I felt a extreme energetic shift within me when you came into our chat room. Yes. Am I the only one who felt that? Is there a reason for that? I did feel that. There is a reason, you could say. I would invite you to realize the movement of your mind in trying to grasp it and understand it rationally and to observe that. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing special about it. And at the same time, for you to truly understand 
I would suggest lovingly it's from that point of observa observation that you can begin to deepen your understanding through other ways of being aware. Does this resonate with you? Um, I think I understand what you're saying, but maybe not. Could you rephrase it? Yes. Put more bluntly, realize that you have a mind that thinks everyone here in this planet has that and at the same time you have much more than that right here right now you are much more than the thinking mind. I see. That makes sense. I think I can take that somewhere. Yes. You can take that somewhere, and you may also choose to just be here now. That would be my suggestion. For you to truly understand what you are asking about, there is nowhere to go. There is nothing to do. There is only presence. Awareness. I see. I've been saying that to myself. I've been bringing myself into the present and I've noticed the energetic change of doing that. Very well. We can pass the mic. One moment. So Sarah? Wait. One moment before we pass the mic. Okay. To help you move along the question you had initially, do you realize you felt something shift when I came into this chat room? You didn't think it. You no. felt it. Yes. That's exactly what I would suggest you to draw your attention towards. Your feeling abilities. You have a thinking mind and you have other abilities. Those abilities feel. Does this I resonate deeper with you? Yes, absolutely. That makes sense. I guess maybe I didn't ask the right question um, because other entities come through and I don't feel what I felt. So my question should have been, is there a connection between us that's different than other connections, let's say? Ah, very well. You see, as you deepen your feeling, your mind is able to go deeper, let's say, and to realize other layers of the question. And now I would answer to your question simply, yes. And we invite you to feel, to feel into the answer you just had. And now, if that's acceptable, we could pass the mic. Yes, thank you, Ahakatini. You are most welcome. It's a very high honor to be in your service. So you can go now. Hello, Akitini. Uh, Hello, Zinaida. Greetings. Greetings. Today, um, I was trying to, I was with Archangel Mikhail. I felt his energy. Archangel Michael, did you say? Yes. Uh huh. Very well. And I felt like my crown chakra is pulling up. Yes. But I don't know how to allow 
to come in or to connect. I was just saying that I want to connect mm -hmm. with Archangel Michael and uh, and it was your name. The first came like aha uh -huh. and then mm -hmm. Kitini and I say I felt like you assisting him. Yes. Yes. And then I said, Aha Kitini, you can come in. I'm alone. And is that your energy that I was speaking today? Yes. For you were wishing for deepening of connections and as I said in earlier transmissions, that is part of my responsibilities. Whenever you, let's say, wish for activations within those aspects, I am here to serve you. You form the intention of connecting deeper, and I was resonating to that idea. So I was assisting you in that process. Yes. So uh, me and Jaguar, we have a soul connection? Yes. From where? Tesla? No. Can you explain, please? Yes, I can. Yet I would invite you to understand that that is part of your own process. And from my point of view, although I have the freedom to do so, I would prefer you to continue your exploration. This is something I would inv invite all of you to understand. You stepped into the game, let's say, of being human. If somebody comes and spoils the game, it wouldn't be so fun, let's say. Does this resonate with you? Yes. Yet there's um, a part of you that is not resonating fully. I will give you just one bit of information you are wishing for. I would suggest that you realize there's a what you could call an oversoul connection. Oh, yes. Does this resonate with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe you have all the information you were requiring. Am I correct in my understanding? Yes. I would invite you to meditate on that and to explore that on your own time and your own feeling wave, let's call it. Ah, Kitini. Yes. I did invite you to this chat. Very well. That's why you came? Did you feel that? Yeah. Yes, that is part of the reason why I came, yes. I love you. Yes, I love you too. But I love and you deeply. Yes, and I love all of you, and I love myself deeply, and I would invite you all to understand that whatever love one feels for another is merely a reflection of the potential for self-love. And within the game, let's call it, of being human, there is much disconnection from the heart center. And when that happens, self-love is at stake. So part of the message for today is also that. Realize the importance of self-love. May I ask you the last question? Yes. The day that... Um, and Nick, he told me that Mikina and Harshkata mm -hmm. are with me. 
I felt so happy and there was a, like a song downloaded to my right brain. You are only in my mind. That was the song. And I want to know who sang that to me. Is that you? No. And if I understand correctly, the song was You Are Always in My Mind, not You Are Only. Do, you under, do I understand correctly? Yes. You Are Always on My Mind. Yes. So it wasn't you? No. So who was it? Please hmm. tell me. Please. I am not at will, unfortunately. Okay, uh, it wasn't, it was Soul, it was CT, it was who? That question is for you to explore and answer. That's what I'm doing, I'm not finding the answer. Because you are seeking with your mind. Again, and this is no coincidence, the point you are referring to within your own process is the same as the first question that was addressed this evening. Realize that you are equipped with many more senses, if you would like, many more capabilities to perceive and apprehend reality that are outside of the purview of your mind. As you do this, you'll become more and more able to answer your own questions. I'm talking to all. Do I have and any other alluring aspect of me that with you now there? Are you asking if there's an alluring aspect of you collaborating with me? Yes. Within my responsibilities. In other words, if you are part of my team. Mm -hmm. Yes, is that your question? In other words. Yes. Yes, that information is correct. You are part of the team. Uh, okay. Is it female or male? It is male. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. For it's us. a very high honor to be at your service. Thank you. Good evening, Noha. Greetings. Welcome back. I love your energy so much, and you know that. Thank you. Um, out of the blue, I have two questions. Out of the blue, I found myself calling your name. Why is that? Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't like ask, that question? I would ask you, why is that? I find myself resonating with you. Perhaps you're working with me, or are you working with me? Yes, for you are wishing it to be so. Yes. Thank you very much for that. Understand. That understand all of you. We are consciousness, and con consciousness resonates whenever you have an idea an intention, other ideas and intentions that are in the same, let's say, frequency length, the same vibration, are attracted and entrain and resonate instantly. So the why for the human mind is because you chose it, whatever your why may be for all of you. On to your ne next question, Noah. The other question is, um, 
Uh, do you have a learn aspect on me? A wooden me? Do you have a learn aspect? Is that your question? Yes. Yes, you have. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. And thank you for being so brief and effective. I have a couple of questions. Greetings, Sabrina. Greetings. It's a very high honor to be at your service, as always. Yeah. Um, I have channeled, um, I believe it's a couple of lyrics, but I, I am not sure. I'm trying to learn to distinguish. Usually I can tell by the energy, but I was wondering if you could help me sort of sort it out, or how can I sort it out? I would prefer your second question. How can you sort it out? Right. My role, my role is to empower you, yes. all of you, to realize yes. more and more that whatever entity you perceive as being external is merely a reflection of who you are. And whatever you may seek outside yourself is already lying dormant for your mind and very awake for your full being. So my role is to help you shift more and more from your limited perception and concept of yourself into a fuller, more empowered, more complete concept of yourself. I'm speaking in general. On to your specific process. How can I help you realize that? Right. Um, I I know one of them I can certainly tell um, mm -hmm. because of it's got a very strong energy, but the other ones I'm not sure if it's just one entity or there's two. There is only one entity, although it has, let's say, variable frequencies, and that is what is causing your perception to be, let's say, challenged. Okay. Does that resonate? Not fully. There's another no. part to your question, yes. Y yeah, because it, it, when it comes through, um, I'm not sure because somebody said it was a general, somebody said it was a captain. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one of those it is, but I feel that energy. The one you are referring to is the second, is the captain. Okay, so that one I can I can tell. Um, with with the other one is the one that I I guess I haven't fully connected. Yes, that is correct. And uh, how could I do that? By choosing it. You have not chose to connect fully. You've been holding yourself back in a sense. And that is perfectly fine. It's your own choice, your own process, your own timing. Does this resonate with you? So all I have to do is choose? Yes. And to be, let's say, stable in your choosing. This is one of the key challenges for human beings, as has been expressed through many other entities and channels before this moment of your time. It's your stability in your intentions, in your attention, in your focus, if you would like, that brings about variability. When you're not stable, the outside, quote unquote, reality reflects that. When you are stable, the outside, quote unquote, reality has no choice but to reflect that. Okay. So in practical terms, relating to you, I'm speaking in abstract and in general for all, and relating to you and specific and practical, when you are stable in your choice of connecting with 
that in specific or whatever you choose to connect, and you remain consistent with that intention, you will see your connection deepen and strengthen. Does this answer fully? Uh, not quite. So, so are you saying? Very well. So are you saying to, to do it more often so that I can feel, I can deepen the connection? I'm not saying that, although I realize for you that's something that resonates with you, so I would suggest you do so and experiment with that and see the results. What I am saying is that at any time, when your focus, when your attention and your intention are aligned and consistent, your connection is stronger and deeper. Oh, okay. When, when your intention and your attention are scattered, your connections are shallower. Does this make yes. more sense? Yes. In, that, in these that. terms. Yes, yes, I, I, I understand that. So that would hold true for any entity, in fact, right? Yes, for any entity, and I'm speaking in terms that are valid for all that are listening and that may listen to a recording. Okay. These are universal principles I am sharing at this time. Okay, thank you. You're most welcome. Yes, Aha Kitini? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Um, I guess you somehow um, answered the question, but I just have this feeling that for some reason, there is a okay Naga came in very strong yes and I was wondering why didn't uh, cannot come in as strong If you apply the principles I have shared before, you will realize that it is because of that. It's because of that? Because of the thought itself? Yes, because of your patterns of thought and emotions being different between those entities that your experience is different in terms of strength of connection. Does this resonate with you? Not fully, I see. You require a different frame. Yes. Naga came in strong and with its own personality. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to understand I didn't I didn't feel Kenna's personality all the way I'm still trying to understand do you wish to understand now yes I would invite you to place that intention and to breathe deeply into it and to bring it to the foreground of your attention now Is there fear connected to that entity? I do I not feel as so. When I say fear, I say any kind of hesitation within yourself. I do not feel that. Very well. What do you feel? I just feel like it's not all the way there as yet. Like something's missing. Yes. Do you realize what is missing? And also the language part of it. 
Yes. Would practicing the language assist you in deepening the connection? Do you believe that to be true? Yes. That would be my suggestion for you to gather with others and practice. Does this answer your question fully? I wouldn't say fully, but yes, it answers the question. What is the other aspect of the question that remains unanswered at this time? The emotional aspect, that's where I am. The very emotional aspect. Do you, want to, do you want to explore that now, or do you prefer to do it at, in your own time? I'd like to explore that now. Very well. When you say emotional aspect, can you describe the feeling? The emotion. I guess I'm looking for it. Ah, very well. So you realize there is a sense of lack and of seeking and grasping, correct? Yes. That is the reason why, and this is a universal process. There's an under, underlying belief within yourself that you must seek to find. And when you realize it is the seeking itself that holds you back from finding, which is, uh, I might say, delicious paradox and the beauty of being human, and being in the duality of this game, you will realize a key set of rules to be a more effective player in the game, let's say. A more effective character in your own story, in your own journey, in this planet at this time. I understand. Yes, because you are stepping outside of your head and inside your heart. You are embodying your self more fully and with that there is space within your mind for subtler understanding to occur. Congratulations, you have taken and a very important step this evening. I invite you to reinforce that and to practice it more and more for it. It will bring you deeper understanding. Yes. It will bring you closer to your true nature, closer to yourself. Yes. I sense there is still another lingering detail within yourself. Am I sensing you correctly? It's outside of this scope. It's my mind. It rattles on constantly looking for something. Yes. Accept it. Embrace it. Realize there is nothing wrong with that. Please and all embrace this principle, if you will, don't wrong it. It is doing its job. Embrace it. Accept it for what it is. It is a su super computer, if you would like that idea. It has its role. It is always on. It is always processing information. So if you begin to reject it and see it as wrong, it will fight you, for it has key directives and one of those key directives is to always protect you always mm -hmm. be looking out for your best interest in this plane in this planet so if you choose to have it as an ally 
you have one experience. If you choose to have it as an enemy, you will have another experience. I would invite you to realize the first type of experience can be much more enjoyable, let's say, than the second. Yes. Does this answer your question? Yes. Do you believe you are able to embrace and accept your mind and, it, and its rattleness, let's say, as part of its nature and send it love and thank it for its job? Do you believe you are able to do this? Yes. I would invite you then to take that belief and continue moving with the feelings you are having now. For you are now bringing that belief, that new belief, into your structure and you are now moving and stepping forward and letting yourself forward instead of holding yourself back. Thank you. May we now pass the mic. Yes. Thank you very much. You are much. most welcome. It's a very high honor to be at your service, as always, Sarah. Thank you mm -hmm. for co-creating this experience with me. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Ahatikini. This is Safir. Greetings, Safir. Thank you. Takir told me that I have 3.7% Lirin at the moment and then it was stopped because I'm under too much stress. Would you be able to explain to me what this 3.7 means for me at the moment? What kind of added character of the Lirin do I have with the 3.7%? Yes, I am able to yet I prefer not to. Can you please understand that? Okay, thank you. For that, and again, as with others, is part of your own process to understand and to shift into the awareness that seeking mental understanding is not wrong, yet it is an angle of approach that is suboptimal, let's say. Okay. If you just well, allow yourself, if you just allow yourself to realize that you have whatever you have, and that is fine in and of itself, you'll begin to be more relieved of the pressure that you feel mentally, let's say. Does this resonate with you? Um, well, I would enjoy knowing what I have, but <laughs> it's good. When you say, um, I would enjoy you are saying that from the ego mind perspective. And again, I am not wronging your ego mind. I'm just inviting it to understand that your sense of I is very limited when you approach it from that standpoint. And I would let invite you... It, let me put it a different way, Um It, it is would, not necessary. I understand you fully. But if you okay. wish to do so, I invite you to do so. Would you like to do so? <laughs> would you like to be yeah. friends? Yes, because I, I don't think I acting from my ego in that moment. I think I'm it's not more speaking I, about your ego mind, not your oh. ego. I'm speaking about your 3D head center, okay. not an ego in a pejorative sense. Okay. There is no reason or necessity to activate that part of yourself. <laughs> okay. Thank you. There is nothing to defend for. Is there is no attack to it? Okay. Yes, that's yes. fine. I appreciate that. Uh, I was looking more for hope. I feel a little bit distant. Like I also wanted to ask you if Muran is still with me, because I feel more distant than a few weeks ago to him or to other Lyran presence around me. The short answer is yes, and the why that I understand follows is because you are choosing it to be so. And again, the ideas I have put forth before in abstract mm -hmm. and general terms and also in practical terms for each case also apply to you. Mm -hmm. It is your choice, your set of moment-to-moment -moment decisions and choices of your focus and awareness that are building your experience. 
-hmm. There you have from within your own self the confirmation from your own body's intelligence, the mm -hmm, that tells you what I'm speaking is true for you. I can understand that I am quite distracted. I yes. still wish wish to have the connection to feel it, and I can think about it more when I have a moment or lie down. I can concentrate on it more, I think. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Yet there are there is the root cause of your experience within your own phrasing. And I say this not to wrong you in any way, but to assist you in shifting mm -hmm. into a more precise and aware mm -hmm. state of yourself. Yeah, that's Would you fine. like to proceed mm -hmm. in that process? Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, you're most welcome. I would invite you to realize that at any moment you are able to connect with the entity you are referring to. It is, in a sense, always available. The one who Thank holds you. the one who holds the connection from being fuller is yourself. As you said okay. very well and that's a good step in the right so to speak direction of what you are wishing. It is your choice of awareness, mm -hmm. your choice of where you place your awareness every mm -hmm. single moment of every single day that brings about the experience you are having. If you are distracted, if you are tense if you are upset, if you are focusing and thinking about things that aren't resonating with your excitement and your true core, true self, you bring yourself away from that which you are wishing. And you bring yourself into things that you are not wishing, in a sense. When I say you are not wishing, I'm speaking to the true you. For yes. the things you say, you are not wishing, you are wishing them. It's merely another aspect of yourself that is wishing them. And that aspect of yourself is what we call, could call a shadow aspect of yourself, a not-self mm -hmm. aspect of you, a repressed, dissociated, fragmented aspect of yourself. Does this resonate with you? Yes. So and I would invite you to do some shadow work, if that resonates with you. To find out why I am choosing a lower vibration of emotions? That is one way of putting it. It's not about why, I would say. It's to find about how. It's about the process, not about a reason, a rationalization a concept, a construct. It's about a direct experience in the now. It's more of a feeling experience than a thinking experience. I understand. My emotions in are in a... My emotions are wrapped up in a... Uh, in love, love kind of situation, partly, that's partly the distraction. And it probably has to do with a lot of old stuff. Um, so is, are you referring to clearing up those shadows? And then I can accept whatever is happening at the moment on an emotional level? I'm referring to whatever you prefer, the principles I have laid out so far. For it is your choice. If you realize there are things in your past that you are choosing to grasp and to hold and to bring into this present experience, you may apply them to that. If you choose to apply them to something else that you are not aware at the time, you may apply them to that. Okay. I sense so, it could be more explain practical. Which yeah. I sense we could be more practical and grounding these concepts and ideas we are sharing 
into an actual experience. Would you like to do that now? I'm not sure what you mean. I, I was going to ask you what shadow, how you perceive shadow work. Is how I perceive shadow work important for you to choose how you define shadow work? Well, you said you suggested that I do some shadow work, and I came up with some some concepts. And now I would rather listen to your concept of what how you do shadow work, or how you would suggest that we, in general, not only myself, do shadow work. I prefer not to do so. For oh, okay. That would be less effective and efficient at this time. I would invite you to hold your own definitions in, your, in the foreground of your attention and to decide for yourself what kind of definition you prefer to have regarding the idea of shadow and also the idea of shadow work or shadow integration. Is this clearer or more resonating with you now? Mm -hmm. I sense hesitation. Well, I, I sense hesitation and confusion. Am I sensing you correctly? Yes. I, I do well. have some idea of shadow. what shadow work is. Um, I have done some of it in the past. Yes. May I ask what results you got from it? It's helped me to become less judgmental of others because I saw that if, I, if somebody else's shadow is disturbing me, it means I have the same shadow, most likely. Yes. And so if I can accept my own, accept and embrace my own shadow without judgment, then I am free of judgment towards others. That's one aspect of shadow work as I understand it. Yes. The, other, the other aspect is just healing some old wounds which repeat themselves in current relationships consciously or unconsciously and I'm not sure if you were referring to that in referring to clearing myself of any conscious or unconscious blocking to raising myself up to the kind of vibration and communing with Muran or you or anyone else on those levels Do you believe that to be a requirement or necessary? I need to find out why I'm choosing. If you say that I'm not as close to mood on because I've chosen it, because I've allowed myself distractions, then I must understand why these distractions, which are very emotional and not as easy to clear as a mental thought, um, how I can, I have to, I would like to understand how to clear them so that they are no longer in the way of my progression and my depth of relationship with you, with Muran, with Tukmuchikir, and with my fellow um, human colony and other friends and colleagues and light workers. May I ask you a question? Yes, please. Do you feel pressure to think in your everyday life? <laughs> that is a yes, correct? <laughs> yes. And that is a yes again and again and again, correct? <laughs> yes. Very well. Do you feel you must appear certain of your thoughts to others? Yes. Very well. I would invite you to realize that this is a core aspect of yourself that if you bring, if you choose to bring it to the foreground of your attention, more and more in each now. The confusion, 
what you, you call blockages and things you must, you believe you must take away from your path or off from your back will simply dissolve in a sense. They will be there and at the same time disappear for you will learn to accept them. I would say that it is your constant pressure to think and you're giving in to your constant pressure to think and the constant need to prove to others and to yourself in a sense that you are certain of what you think, of the positions you hold within your mental comprehension as true, that is, holding yourself back. Okay, that's a little bit different from what I understood your I yes, do feel I am going for I am going deeper. I'm inviting okay. you to go deeper and to step further if you choose to do so. Do you okay. choose to do so? Yes, that's fine. You do not seem Thank convinced. You. you are not being truthful no, to fine. yourself. I apologize. But you are no, not no, being no, no. to yourself. Yes, yes. I'm, yes I, I'm I apologize fine. to confront <laughs> you, but this is my role now. I'm being truthful to you yeah. by telling you that you are not being truthful to yourself. You are being truthful mm -hmm. to your mental position and not to your true self. You are not allowing yourself to feel into your understanding. You are, in a sense, remaining stuck in your thinking of this present moment. And I do not choose to come across as confrontative or confrontational, but I will not let you escape, in a sense, your own trap. I must That's, bring you to yeah. this moment. That's fine. Uh, I My intention was to be open. Uh, it was to clarify in my own mind what we were doing and where you were going more than my wish to remain stuck on a thought, on my own thoughts. Thank you. Truly. It, it is also true that I am confronted by those around me to hold a certain belief system and I, I don't hold the belief system the way they expect me to but I sort of expected to hold it. So yes, that is a conflict between those around me who expect me to have a certain belief system and myself trying to break free of it for them, with them, in front of them and yes, that does create some conflict, that's true. Not because I want to hold on to old beliefs, but it, it can be that uh, for the sake of others I'd be confused about how much of my old beliefs to bear in front of them as being inconsequential for me now. Does that make sense? Somewhat. You've shared an important point there. That is, you are holding yourself as responsible for what others think and believe and choose to perceive you as. This was the key in behind the words you were mm -hmm. sharing. Yeah, I think that's one. You feel, it, yes. may I ask you a question? Yes, please. Do you feel responsible for what others think and feel about you? Yes and no. I don't want to feel responsible. Yet there's a part of you that does. Um, right, exactly. Would you like to explore that part of you that does? That is a no energetically at the Not time. Not right now. It's true. Yes. I, I, I got worried about everybody else online and I'm getting nervous. So yes. I, is that important now for you? Or is that important for what others think of you? 
for the image you choose others to have of you? Are you holding on to your truth, in a sense? No, my... Or are you holding to the truths others may have? What is most important for you now, your truth or others' truths? My truth is not to have others wait longer. That is my truth. I feel it. Very well. Yes. Very well. I feel Very. it. I love everybody and I don't want to keep too much time. I will consider very deeply what you said, Ahatakini. Thank you. May I say something? Yes. yes, one moment, for I must share and reflect something. Is that acceptable, Sabrina? Yes. You have, do you realize you have just chosen to put, to put others above and in front of yourself? Yes, Secure. and that's where I belong. That's where they belong, and that's where I belong. So, do you realize you have a belief that says others are higher and more important than me? That's true, and it is true. They are. Ah, why is that true? because you choose it to be so. There is no need to think, in a sense, in those terms, unless you believe you must think in those terms. So I would invite you to take away, for your own consideration if you choose to do so, the relevance and the truthfulness of that belief. Others are more important than me. Others come first. This is very prevalent in your planet. And I would say it is a disservice to you. All of you. I say it is selfish of me to sit here and talk to you longer when everybody else is waiting. And I, I realize, said that I just... I realize you're being practical and specific. Yet, that's just, uh, I would say, distraction from the frequencies I'm trying to share with you and you are resisting them. I will not, not try mm -hmm. any further. You need your own time. Sabrina. Yes, I, I just wanted to say to Ruth that we all love you and we all understand that if, if something is being done that will help one of us, the rest of us can wait or not speak with the entity at that time in order for that person to be helped. Yes. Thank you for that, Sabrina. Oh, great. Sabrina. One moment. Sophia, please understand, whenever one in a group or in a council has a question and he is or she is able to work through the question, everyone benefits. Everyone reflects within him or herself the progress that is done within the individual for we are all connected, we are all one, ultimately. So if you hold yourself back, in a sense, because you hold the belief that you must be fair and equ equitable in the distribution of time, although that is, in 3D terms, a part to be considered, you are, in, a, in another sense, in another perspective, holding back everyone else from their own progress. But this that is, is a very true point. Thank you. Just, yeah, just a consideration for you to reflect upon if you choose to do so. Yeah. No. Thank you, and thank you, Sabrina, and everyone. That's yeah. We I love that you. Sometimes. Thank you very much. Yeah. I, I'm also afraid, Hatakini, uh, that I'm going to disappoint you because I, you're very exact, and I may not be able to move in the way that you wish me to for my sake. Um, Thank so you for. Yeah, yes. Please, go, please finish. I interrupted you. I apologize. It's okay. No, I'm. I'm afraid of disappointing you. Um, yes. I would like to say something here, Ahakitini, if and and Ruth, if you don't mind. Is it okay yes, if I comment something? Sure. Yes. yes. You. you know, as I'm feeling, I mean, I understand Ruth's uh, ideas and her her beliefs. But I am just wondering, like, you know, if you have 
like let's say for example, a hypothetical thing, if you have a fever and if you go to the doctor and if the doctor gives you the medicine and if you refuse to take it saying that, oh, you know, I don't want that fever to be gone, but in reality you don't want that, uh, that fever, why don't you take that medicine? In other words, your, your belief system, Mary, saying that, you know, everyone is above you and so you have to please everybody is causing you most probably some enormous pain and, 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 and suffering within you. So in order to let that free, could you not, um, you know, like just uh, change your pers perspective or, or your thought pattern and saying that, hey, I am important, I am equal, everybody is that, and I'm not here to please everyone and to give everybody what their desires and needs are. I'm here for myself, my spiritual growth, my inner growth, and that's what is going to set me free. So in here, Ahaikitini is giving you all the medicine that you are needing, and in some sense you are saying, yes, I understand, thank you, but I don't, I'm not going to take the medicine. So, um, so isn't it like, you know, maybe a push or a nudge for yourself now that, hey, you know, look at me. I am not even helping myself, and the only person that could ever help myself is me. So I would say, and take this opportunity, Ruth, that take this step and work within and open yourself to, to, these, uh, to these new ideas that uh, Jaguar or Ahakitini has, has, to, has, to, has to give you. That's all. Yes, thank you. Well, now that I got everybody's okay to go forward, it's okay for me as well. I think I needed that because... Yes, you're always okay. You have all the well, power you need. Okay. You know, as far as the time goes and people waiting, I, I, if I, now that I have everyone's okay, then I feel better. So I'm willing to proceed. I'm also well, we a little afraid to... We Thank all love you. We want you to be better. We want you to feel the power within yourself, and we want you to mm -hmm. understand that, you know, love is all you have, and, no, you know, you are full of love, and, uh, you know, you are equal, and you don't have to just please everybody, you know, because it's their state of mind, and you have to be in your state of mind to, to express your feelings and be in a state of joy and now. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Prana. Appreciate that. <laughs> yes. So, Ahatakini, I thank you for your whatever you want to share. If you still want to share something, I thank you. You are most welcome. All that I wished to share has already been shared. I have one question, if I may. Yes. Is this transmission being recorded by someone within this group? Yes. I would invite you to listen to that recording for all the mm -hmm. information you are opening yourself now to receive has already been transmitted. So I mm -hmm. would invite you to record within yourself the frequency you are accessing now of al allowing yourself, of letting yourself open up and move forward, let's say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please record this deeply, this moment. Breathe into it. Anchor it into your body. And when you access the recording, when you listen from the beginning of our conversation. You can listen, I would invite you to listen to all of the recording. This would be useful to any of you that are attending and any of you that might come, might come to the recording in the future of your time. But then especially focus on our conversation and realize how you were holding yourself back. Because if you need mm -hmm. to, as Parana said, please others, of your belief that you must conform to a set standard of communicating and my expectations of, or rather I would say, what you believe to be my expectations of your capabilities of communicating. For there, there is not, not such a thing on my side, let's say. Mm -hmm. 
That's mm -hmm. merely your choice. Mm -hmm. Your perception based on your belief mm -hmm. structure. That I am like this okay. or I am like that. When I say I say I, I say your idea of ahakitini. Ahakitini mm -hmm. is like this or like that. He likes this, he prefers that, so I must conform to that. And this is another way of saying I must repress myself. I must step mm -hmm. away from my truest expression so that I may please someone else. And I would invite you to realize that this is a pattern you hold within yourself because you believe it to be useful. You've been conditioned into believing it is useful throughout your life and to realize that it may not serve you anymore and take it from there. Does this resonate with you? Yes. Yes, thank you. You are most welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your ability to move through your own resistance. And I thank mm -hmm. all of you that have been holding the frequency of love and light to assist Safira in this movement this evening of your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. You're Namaste. welcome. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Prana, you're next. Hello, Ahai Kitini. Greetings, Prana. Hi, this is our first, uh, you know, like one-on-one -on -one conversation. I have heard of you, but I have never spoken to you directly. So I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to intermingle my energy with yours and vice versa. I appreciate that. Um, I really do not have any question because, I mean, I am, I, I understand and I know that I am whole, I am full, and I am complete in every single way possible uh, and I mean I share this enjoyment and joy and uh, satisfaction of my heart with you and with the people around me in this group at the moment and people who would be listening to this conversation that uh, you know being in joy and love is the most beautiful thing and I wish I could share this joy and the feeling of love to everybody in the universe having said that uh, lately I have been experiencing or dreaming about some black cats or the big cats you could call them jaguars or panthers um, yes. and also I have uh, frantic channeling Gira I believe who is also mm -hmm. a Lyrian who I believe I have met in the dream so my only question would be is there a message for me that all these uh, you know the cats are trying to convey to me is there something that I can do to better myself to connect with their energy that would be my question. Thank you. You're most welcome. There are many questions within your question, many layers, and that is to be expected. May I ask you a question? Yes, definitely. To begin, as a first step. Yes. Do you, do you believe you must better yourself? We are always evolving, so in that sense, we are always making ourselves better. That is the only way. But again, I mean, as I first said, we are whole. We, we are all that we are. But again, I mean, as a universe, as anything and everything living is always expanding and growing. In that sense, I ask you that question. Or, I mean, in that, in that sense, I think everybody had some space to grow. Very well. Thank you for clarifying that. For this is a apparently small detail, yet it is very common and very frequent that people hold the belief that they are not enough. And deep within themselves there is this underlying sense that I am not enough. I am not good enough. So I must improve myself. And these are two quite distinct ideas. The one you put forth of, and that it is truthful and accurate, of constant evolution, constant growth and expansion. Your human lives reflect this principle of constant growth and expansion. When you choose to do so, when you choose to experience that, I must add, and at the same time there's the other idea that is rooted in constriction and in fear. So 
I think it's very important to clarify these two ideas for they are very different vibrationally not only mentally we are addressing them with ideas with thoughts but I would invite you all to experience these two frequencies the frequency of I am not enough therefore I must improve myself or rather in reverse I must improve myself I have a desire to improve myself I must be better why what's driving that behind it there is I am not enough feel it breathe it now let's shift into I am a, an expression of all that is all that is is constantly evolving and growing and moving I move as does the universe I reflect that I am a fractal aspect of all there is therefore I constantly expand breathe it feel it and see the contrast feel the contrast for it is very common very well on yeah. to a more practical aspect of your question what can you do to access this second state this second mode let's say of being may I ask you what are your daily practices do you integrate into your daily routine some kinds of spiritual let's call them or very physical practices in truth there is no difference yes um, I connect with Mother Earth and the Father Sky I try to meditate and be in the energy field um, so I try to be in the moment and try to feel the energy so that's basically what I would do I feel connected to the earth you are speaking energetically in a moment-to-moment -moment basis throughout your day correct yes when you say you connect to father sky and mother earth do you actually do physical practices such as grounding walking yes, barefoot I uh -huh. I've been doing that and I also um, very well walk, yeah watch the Sun you know like Sun gazing very well very well Th those are deceivingly for the mind simple practices yet they are immensely powerful yes and you have experienced really you have experienced that yes your frequency has accelerated lately your communication has improved when I say lately I say in a linear perspective of time and you have let's say experienced the benefits of those deceivingly again simple practices and you've experienced the power they are bringing you further and further in your being correct yes very well besides those practices and I would invite you all to do them actually to act upon them there are others you may choose to use but first I would ask you what excites you what brings you joy laughter energy what makes you feel alive when you do me it? personally yes I am alive myself you know that is the best thing I could ever experience because if I am not alive and uh, feeling the joy no matter what is around me I cannot feel that love or joy so I am always happy I am joy that is the truth and Very also well. talking to other people you know like in the group I am always making jokes or being this and that because for me I am not in my mind my intention is never to cause any harm or any confrontation or anything like that so even when I'm doing it I am joyfully or playfully doing it so 
in that sense, you know, I feel like I'm always like a child or, you know, like a playful little boy that's always, uh, you know, doing things joyfully. Then there is no need for techniques or practices. If you are living each moment, each day, as you have described, I would suggest you already have everything you need. I have nothing to teach or to share. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. And I feel, as no. I said, I am whole. And that explains everything, that, that I am whole. Yes. That there is nothing lacking. Yes, if this, the words you are speaking are a true reflection of your experience, I would invite you yes. to share with others, for that is very profound. And well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. But uh, you know, you haven't answered the question about uh, that the cats that I have seen in the dream, or the one that I saw in the spaceship, or some sort of ship. Yes. Would you Would you like to comment on that? Yes. There are, as I said, many aspects of your question. I was addressing the underlying ones and on the topic of how to better connect with them. That was what I was exploring so far. On the aspect of those cats, what's your specific question? You are we were asking about how to better connect. We have explored that. What's your specific? My specific question is, is there anything that they are trying to tell me, or is, uh, is there some sort of relation, you know, between in those dreams? So there, there are two questions. Are they trying to communicate something to you, and what is the nature of your relationship with, with them, if there is one, correct? Correct. Very well. I would address the, fir the second first. There is obviously a relationship with them, for you are connecting with them in your dream state. So, in short, yes, there is a connection. On to the first one. Is there a message they are wishing to convey to you? One moment. Yes. And this message is for you and synchronistically for all. One moment. Realize whenever you try to connect to an entity you perceive as external, you are doing nothing more than connecting with yourself. As you move in your processes, as you further and deepen your understanding, your perception would open more and more and you will realize the thing, the entity, the that, that I perceive as being external is nothing but an aspect of myself, whatever I perceive it as. If I perceive it as good, if I perceive it as bad, if I am excited by it, or if I retrieve from it, it is me. I am it. Internal internalizing yourself. You could say that. Realizing, Realizing expanding, expanding. The, your true nature.
One moment. Okay. This first part of the transmission was for all. For you specifically, Prana, as a personality structure that is having your experience at this time. The group of entities wishes to express its deep love and recognition and respect for your choice to be in this planet at this time for having chosen to go through all that you have chosen to go through to be here assisting in the process all of you are going through at this time they are wishing to share their love their excitement and their deep respect and recognition for your courage And they are truly joyful for you are choosing to open your heart to them. I thank you very much. And as soon as you started speaking, I, um, I am feeling this overwhelming amount of uh, love energy. Yes. And uh, I send this back to the universe and to earth and to all the people who feel like they are not, they are suffering or they feel like they, they don't have enough or they are weak. I hope that they will be able to use this energy to better themselves and to know that they have everything that they need. Thank you so much and for the love of the galactic love that I'm feeling right now. Thank you for allowing yourself, for letting yourself step forward, for letting yourself forward, for opening yourself and allowing the recognition of yourself, of your true nature. Thank you. I pass the mic. Mary, you're next. Hello. Aha, Kitini. Hello, this is Mary. Um, I wanted to. Good evening. I like to know if I have any uh, Lyrian aspect in me, and um, I haven't been able to feel it. Uh, just uh, when when you started uh, meditating, uh, you came in and started meditating. I felt the energy, but uh, it's a it's a new kind of vibration for me. Uh, I haven't felt it before. And also, I want to know if uh, if I have if I do have Lyrian aspect, why haven't I to tap into it um, or integrate in it? In short, yes, you do have Lyrian aspects. Why haven't you connected more fully with them? Was that the second part of your question? Yes, Ahakitin. Again because you have chosen not to do so because there are beliefs you are holding as true there are fears or whatever reservations lie within yourself when, when I say with yourself I'm speaking to the 3D ego self let's say ego mind rather than self that are still holding you from connecting with that you are not, pref in other words, you are not preferring that. You are preferring something else, other kinds of energies and frequencies. And there is nothing wrong with that. It has been something that has excited you, and you have chosen that. Does this resonate with you? Uh, yes, it does. Um, yes, I have. Uh, well, I have been able to tap into other energies. Yes. Uh, but not this one. This is, this is new to me. Yes. Um, uh, well, let me see. Uh, what what benefit do I get? Um, I mean, I don't know how to um, phrase this question. Um, what what percentage of Lyrian do I have? 
And if it's a high percentage, uh, would I be able to uh, access this vibration if I practice it? I guess. It's, this is all new. The yeah, Lyrian aspect is new to me. Yes. One moment. Can someone please brief me on the situation with Frantisek? Uh, is someone in communication with him? What's the status? He's right here. I am here. Ah, greetings, Frantisek. It is a great Hello. joy to, to hear your voice. One moment as I finish addressing the questions of Mary. Of course. Your time, my Very well. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Mary. Yes, Ahakatim. These energies are new, in a sense, for you. If you wish, and I sense you do wish to explore your connection with them more fully, do you wish to do so? Yes. There is only one thing to do. Allow yourself. Set your intention and allow yourself. If you truly feel excitement in that, exploration allowing yourself is the only thing to do in a sense and may, may I invite you all to realize the paradox of the words allowing yourself is exactly the opposite of doing allowing yourself is actually not doing or undoing Does this resonate with you, Mary? Yes. And when I do that, would I be able to learn the language first? Do you believe that to be true? I don't know. There you go. I haven't experienced it yet. There you go. Just be because you haven't experienced something, it does not mean you have a belief or you don't have a belief. Rather, one moment. I wish to share with all the idea of the fear of the unknown. This is something that is shared amongst many of you. When there is something new, something you haven't experienced before, sometimes you retract you hold back in fear. You perceive it as something undesirable or questionable, let's say. And when I say you perceive it, I'm speaking to less conscious process within yourself. I'm speaking in general terms. Specifically for you, Mary, I would invite you to realize that you haven't experienced it yet, but you are choosing to believe because you haven't choose, chosen to experience it yet, you are uncertain. So there is a belief of when something is new, I am not certain. And this is valid, but not required. Do you understand? Um, Not really. Well, the reason, well, the reason I haven't uh, experienced it because uh, I just learned about Lyrian aspect of yes. me. Yes. Yes. Not too, not too long ago, so I didn't even know it existed in my reality. Existence. Now that I know that there is a Lyran aspect, I would like to 
experience. It is done. You are there. You are already experiencing it. For when you choose, experience happens. Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Thank you, Arkatin. You are most Much welcome. Love. Much love to you. Much love to you. Thank you for being so open to new experiences and to allowing yourself, letting yourself forward. Thank you. Okay, uh, Gordon was next. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to speak with Frantishak first, uh, uh, but next in line was Gordon. Yes, I sense there is great joy and excitement within Frantishek to share some of the ideas we have been exploring so, so far. At the same time, I wish to honor the structure we have laid out before, address Gordon, and then invite other dynamics to occur. Gordon. Greetings. Greetings, Aha. Um, first, I would like to share with you a impartation or teaching that, that I feel resonates with me and just have your feedback on it. And then I will follow that up with uh, the question that. Uh, I'll just follow up the question. <laughs> yes. One one moment, if I may. Yes, please. Yes, you may proceed. Okay. We are here to evolve our mind, body, and spirit complex through immersion in the love and the light by utilizing the catalysts presented before us in the most efficient manner to us as both sender and receiver. How does that resonate with you? Deeply, for it is filled with truth. Even before you shared the words, I was feeling and, in a sense, basking in your energy and your joy and your excitement. <laughs> for when you felt the allowance for a space to be yourself, your energy shifted instantly. And I realized the truth behind the words you were still going to share even before you opened your mouth, so to speak. Yes, I understand. This, this is something that resonates deeply with you. These kinds of practices, this kind of sharing. May I ask you a question? Please. What is the source of that information? Where did you collect it from? Uh, that's something I've just put together that I feel very like well. A lot, a lot of my very. Life. Very well. My perception is accurate. This is your deep truth. And when I say your deep truth, I say it is deep truth simply coming through you, for you are allowing it to come through you. Yes. I would invite you to continue, for this brings you great joy and great service to all. You may proceed. I will, thank you. Um, my question is just then, and I think this resonates with you as well, the idea of simplicity. Um, yes. Can you just, can you impart upon us or teach us some universal ideas or teachings and uh, simplicity is key, uh, which I don't need to obviously say to you exactly, um, obviously, just 
preaching to the choir, so to speak. But um, and then I'll just and then I'll just say exactly, or I'll just stem what I took away from what you just spoke about, um, and so I'll allow you to answer. Um, all the first universal teaching I have, because I'm creating a universal teachings um, collection. However, you'd like to, yes. is to define it, a, a way yes. for us to remember certain key um, impartations. And the first one I, I had um, just from this conversation is all limitations stem from fear, especially fear of the unknown, which I, can make, I might tweak that, but especially fear of the unknown because we are uncertain and this is not needed. Um, but mainly all limitations stem from fear. That's the key part for me. Is, is that need to be tweaked at all, or would you concur? There are adjustments that could be made to words so they would be resonating and eliciting the frequencies in a more effective way. We yeah. may explore that at another time, if, it, if that is acceptable for, to you. Yeah, I love it. So, uh, yeah, then... Then, kind of following up on that, um, can yes. you give us a shared universal teaching you have? At the time, my choice is to withhold from further exploration. I sense that all that was required so far has already been shared. It's already being recorded, and to be frank, I am approaching the boundaries of the conduit's energy and availability. So I would invite. So I would invite that exploration for another time, and I would accept it with great joy. I understand. Such synchronicity. I was about to make a comment about. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> I know that voice. It sounds like a voice of uh, Liren. Hi, Rui. Greetings. Greetings. Hello, everybody. And my greetings to Akatini. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for your presence. It is a very high honor, as always, to be at your service. And the reflection is also shown back yes. to you in much gratitude. Yes, this council is nothing more than a hall of mirrors reflecting each other to each other. Careful you don't get lost, though. That is the choice for each individual. Some do choose to get lost, and in getting lost, they find themselves. Some choose not to explore and out of fear, not to move, and in a sense, they lose themselves in the lack of movement and Many other, possible combinations, many other possible combinations that are not required to convey this idea. Yes, I love you too. Sorry for my interruption okay. if I was a little bit blunt there. You were not at fault. You were expressing your joy and your excitement. Gordon. Oh, it's always very exciting when you come, when you come through, and it's rare as well. So, got to take these opportunities when you can. Yes, things are shifting and transforming in 3:4D for this conduit. I hope you all can understand that there are intentions. to bring forth new formats of communication that must 
hold for some time in the future. For the time being, Jaguar must focus on Yes, we understand. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, we understand. We just don't need to explain, and it's okay. It's fine. Uh, um, uh, Hakitini, do you think Frank could uh, do his importation um, Well. Jaguar is there, since I know this is getting a bit long and we don't want to tax Jaguar too much? I'm misunderstanding. Are you asking? If if Jaguar is too tired, because I know you wanted to speak with Frantishak? Yes. Yes. There is still energy available for that. I must okay. first confirm that, Gordon, did you express yourself fully? Uh, yes. In, in what sense? I have I had the sense that there were still other things you were wishing to share. Is my understanding correct? Mm. Not really. That is a no. That it's, is I, fine. I know. It's. I want you to be at your uh, peak level of energy when we discuss. Oh, I see. So you are withholding from sharing by caring for the well-being of the channel. Yeah. I would lovingly disagree and invite you to share something that you are still holding back for. I think it's time for it. Do you resonate with this? Would you like to do it now? Or would you prefer to do it later? For yourself, regardless of others' well-being. Uh, well, I was just—I was just gonna go more on into the um, the aspects of. I was gonna delve more to the universal aspects of things, and and I I sensed from you that was too much. It that would involve a lot of energy, and I didn't wanna go into something that's too weighted too heavily right now. If it's not. Um, I would invite that to occur with Frantishek's collaboration instead of my own. Is that accept uh, acceptable yeah, for you? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. Um, there was a miscommunication there. Yeah, of course. That's that's better then. More than. And then, and then I would invite Frantishek and myself to interact with the group after that. So I will remain silent for the time being, allow you both to interact, and then, if and when appropriate, to explore other ideas. Would you like to do that, Gordon? And would you like to do that, Frantishek? Yes, that resonates with me. Try to check. Everybody is muted. <laughs> yes, it is protocol for when one is not speaking to mute the mic so there is no interference. Ah, oh, Katini. 
Yes. One moment, Zinaida. Gordon. I'm under the impression František is no longer present or choosing to remain silent. He is there. He's just not talking unless unless he's getting himself ready to channel. Um. Very well. So I would address Zinaida now and then go back into being silent. Yes, Zinaida. I would like to know for which planet you are Please Please. I appreciate your curiosity and excitement. At the same time, I am not at will at this time. I hope you can understand. <sighs> okay. It is not yet. It is not yet time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your intention and your excitement and desire to deepen your understanding and share with others. Hello. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Hello. Guys. Guys, Hello. what is AFK? Uh, away from Fanti keyboard. Shake. Oh, okay. Fanti <laughs> front, 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 front. Where are you? Where are you? Front. Front is Are you getting ready to channel? Um, um yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your energy is beautiful. I've had an exciting had an night. Exciting. Yeah. Twenty yeah. sec. I wasn't I was sure. Yeah. You were yeah, there. Yeah. We are all here. Okay. Gordon? This is an experience co creation. I believe uh, Akatina. The keyboard. The keyboard. Oh, okay, really bad. Okay, really bad. Yeah, sorry. Feedback was an issue. And still is. <laughs> there might be two windows open. Can anyone 
anybody make that out? Can anybody make that out? I think he has some live video on. I think he has a big statement. I think that's his back Try to shit. Yeah. Try to shit. Everything okay? Yeah. You have tiny sound. I can hear Dan. In background is too many sounds. I can't tell if it's just him or if there's like another video running. Yeah, this I think he might have some other video running in the background. It's been picked up on his microphone and it's just feeding back everything because it's on a constant loop. Yeah, I think he has the Hukalo uh, TV live on in the background. He has to open up that window to shut it off. Yeah. I mean, we've all been there, haven't we? We had like a hundred, well, not a hundred, but a couple of YouTube things, you know, and Firefox crashes and loads back up. and It will start playing at once. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so now, so where's the window? I've got eight windows. Ah! So how is everyone this evening, today? Okay, we just work on through chakra every morning. Yes, Jaguar did an amazing. <laughs> Luna High Cantina, they did a, an amazing job with everyone. Yeah, seems to have that effect. Yes. I was um, quite excited when I got the message that um, I tried to join the old room and no one was there. And then I was like, where is everybody? Surely <laughs> they must be around somewhere. <laughs> Jacob. Hi all. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> good. So what did you think? Uh, I think of what? The channeling. What was that? Ah, uh, I really like uh, hearing Jaguar speaking. <laughs> Uh, well, I uh, have Katini, uh, I guess. <laughs> yes. Everybody uh, is. Uh, uh, Efran is going to channel, or? Yeah, we're waiting to see. Um, there was some feedback happening, so. We're not sure yet what is going on, so... Um. Yeah. Jakob, did you come up with the uh. question? Mm, ah, yes, I have a question. Um, I, um... It was a few days ago, I, um... I met uh, 
two beings at work. I wasn't, uh, I didn't realize they were um, testing if I uh, picked up on that they, um, uh, what they were. I only realized it afterwards. And uh, it was really strange because uh, one of them was didn't say anything to me. It was just uh, like uh, on the side, and the other one was uh, like he was uh, <laughs> his character, what he was being. It was so. Um, uh, it was really strange. But uh, I wanted to ask if someone knew where they were from, because I went back, like, uh, asked really, because I felt like they were not really, that they didn't have good in intentions towards me. But then I uh, saw that they were just seeing if I would pick up on their telepathy. But I, you know, I would like to know if, if someone could tell me where they were from and what, what? their... Uh... Hello, Jake. What? Jacob. Oh, hi. Rory. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Where are you from, my friend? Uh, Iceland. Oh, wow. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to visit. Jacob. What did they look like? Oh, they 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 looked like normal normal people, <laughs> I guess. Well, what, yeah, the one I the one that was talking to me he was like eccentric, I think that is the word. I was at work and uh, uh, I was like uh, um, handing them. I work at the like a meet uh, buffet and I you know hand oh, they pick what they want and they, I hand them the, the people what they want were and, they uh, physical he, human beings are you yeah, well, yeah, yeah but but I felt I I know they were more than just um, they <coughs> they were something <laughs> mm. Yeah, and yeah, you felt you felt there was another something or something else about it. Yeah, and yeah. and I and I felt after I uh, because uh, it wasn't after my uh, my uh, after I Sir. talked Sir. with them that I realized that they there were something they were they were they were see they were seeing me they were you know the what they were ordering wasn't re relevant. And, uh, yeah, I want to know if somebody could tell me more about them. Because I've been, you know, thinking about it, and I can't really... Yeah, obviously if it's something that's, that's caught your attention, then usually it wouldn't have caught your attention if it's just some fleeting matter. Um, it's rare for that to happen, um, so yeah, that's, I would follow that up if you can. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, normally, for that, it probably would be Jim or Jaguar, maybe, um, mm. to answer that question. Um, and for Jim, you would have to be present. At the webinar, yeah, probably. Uh, I'm not sure since you never been there. Um, have you? Yeah, like way back. I was. Oh, way back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, nothing in like recent. Okay. Recent now. <laughs> All right, because um, that's. You know, those kinds of questions usually. All right. Bye bye, Jaguar. Bye, Jaguar. You okay? 
Everything good, dude? Jaguar? Yes. yes. Just speak to us yeah. first. Okay. Gotta, gotta go rest. Yeah. Sure, man. Okay, Jaguar. Right. It was a pleasure. Thank you. I was, I was hoping uh, František to show up and uh, us having uh, some kind of uh, exchange. It sounded exciting. Maybe some other time. I must rest now. Okay. It was not meant to be Thank tonight. You very yes. Much. Yes, yes. Thank you all. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Say thanks to uh, Hakatini for me. Thank yes. you. Okay. Bye all. Thank you, Mary. Bye, bye. bye. thank you. And thank you, Jaguar. Jaguar, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> don't go. The body must sleep. No, I was just, no, it's just a rumor I right hear. I, I was just, just talking to rumor. you. Did you got something? I'm not following. Okay, baby. That's mean you need to sleep. I'll be there. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, y'all. Goodbye. Bye. Love Thanks you. Forever. Muha. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. I miss the big oh, kitty cat again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Frantishek, are you there? I hope everything's all right. It sounded like he had people in the background, or yeah, I just maybe he just left his um, microphone next to a speaker or something, so everything was just coming back through. I don't know. Mm. Anyone good at remote location? And <laughs> <laughs> Remote viewing, I mean, get my words right. Okay, wait, wait. Let me bring him back. <laughs> Mary's got a big smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want Frantishek or you want Jaguar? Jaguar, he needs to sleep, okay. Frantishek. Yeah, but, you know, that was a pretty long session. Mm. Yeah, I, I I thought Gordon and Frantisek were going to have an exchange or something. I thought that was the yeah, but we're waiting a uh, friend to 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 no, say hi. No, it was hi. supposed to be a Hakitini and Frantisha. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, Mary. Mary, do you feel you. like channeling? Come on, Mary, come Mary on, Mary. says she has to go Mary. soon in chat. Oh. But her hair looks beautiful today. Hey, Rovi. I channeled a Hakitini. <laughs> ah! Getting closer, yeah. are you? Yeah. <laughs> See? Just part of his energy. I was channeling. What, did, what, what happened? You had a little chat inside, or did you actually fully come no, through? No, he was connected with me, a part of his energy. Yeah. You should like watch I, I, the video. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Frantishek, bring me <laughs> the yeah. angel. Bye bye. It's, I think it's Much in. Love, Mary. No, no, no. Bye, Mary. Bye, Mary. Take care, beautiful. We love, love you. you. That that was the first one with the uh, with the Frantishek. And then yes, another video. the second one, yeah, he was going to channel but uh, <laughs> the big one came, my goodness. So I called him. Okay, can guys, we go offline? Yes, that's <laughs> what I was just gonna say. Do we yeah, need to keep it online anymore? Okay, Frantic, so... Frantishek, please, come back. Frantishek, are you there? For editing purposes, I'll go offline. Frantishek, Okay, so, so we're going offline now? We're go 
Thank yes. you to everyone for watching, the two viewers that are watching us. No, I think there were a lot of people watching. So, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, goodbye, Bye. Sean. Goodbye. Thank you, Sean. Bye. We'll get you in a hangout soon. Yes. Yeah.